Time with family can be stressful. But the results are causing these family members to have Mari meltdowns. These young women are in love. The problem... Who did you sleep with? They don't trust the men they love. Jimmy and Danica's relationship could end in a matter of five minutes. You just gave birth. Because she just received five shocking emails. From five different women claiming that they had sex with Jimmy in her home. I just had a baby three weeks ago. If he fails a single question on this lie detector test, we're done for good. Renee is married, yet still a teenager. She thinks her husband's not attracted to her and that he's more interested in looking at porn sites and meeting other women. I just don't know what to do anymore. What will a lie detector test reveal to this young teen bride? The lie detector determined. Plus, this young man thinks Clarence is secretly cheating. Yes, I'm furious, I'm furious. On his mother. You need to respect me and my mama. Today, the scandalous truth will come out. But can any of the extremely young people on today's show handle it? You said you loved me! An unforgettable hour of Mari starts right now. Everyone, this is Danica. Welcome Danica to the show. <laughs> Guess what Danica did three weeks ago? Gave birth. All right. Their first child with her boyfriend, Jimmy. This should be really happy times. And she's on this show. They have found themselves on the show because Danica recently received five different emails from five different women claiming... <laughs> claiming that they had sex with Jimmy in her home. One of the women even described the furniture in the bedroom. Once. I just had a baby three weeks ago. I should be celebrating. Instead, I have to bring my boyfriend Jimmy here for a lie detector test. I've had multiple women tell me that they've had sex with my man in my house, in my bed. He's the father of my child. How can he do this to me? One woman wrote me on Facebook and described my bedroom. She said she had sex with him in my bedroom four times that day. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. I have found women's pajama bottoms and panties in my house. Even worse, I think the women that Jimmy's bringing over are stealing from me. If he fails a single question on this lie detector test, we're done for good. <laughs> Done for good, even though you just gave birth to your child three weeks ago. I'm still not going to go through being cheated on. You're not. No. Five different women. Yes. Contacted five different women. You. Yes. And what did they? What they say? One said that they slept with him in my bed four different times in one day. I've had women tell me that they are having sex with him. In the last couple of weeks, couple of months, they've, they've told me that they have taken things out of my house of mine, my, my clothing that I paid for, that I worked hard for. What does Jimmy say about you every time? They're they... just trying to come in between our relationship. Oh, They're I They're just see. trying to destroy They're our relationship. They're breaking you up. Way back, when you all first started going out together, Jimmy did admit that he kissed a woman a couple of times, right? This was a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Jimmy okay. admitted to kissing a girl. He got drunk at the bar and kissed that girl. The next day, she came over to our house, and he kissed her again. But never told me they had sex. But I was told through multiple friends that he had sex with her. He's been having sex with her for the last couple of weeks. In fact, didn't you move out of your house? Yes, I left for a few weeks and moved in with my mother. She described your, your bassinet? Yes, that I bought for my son. 
You didn't find anybody else's clothing there. Yes, I did. I found um, a hoodie that belonged to one of the females. He admitted that that hoodie belonged to that female. Here's Jimmy, everybody. Welcome. describes it, you kind of got an open house going on to all these women. No, uh, it ain't nothing like that. Nothing? Nothing. You're not messing with women in your house no. that you share with them. Well, then why would no. they tell me this? No, why I have no Kim idea. I have no idea. If it's not happening, why would they I tell have, me? I have no idea. Why would they tell me? Just like I keep trying to tell you, man, everybody is just trying to sabotage what I got. I why? never, like, why? because they don't want me to be happy. I'm not supposed to be happy. Kids would tell me they heard noises coming from the bedroom that they shouldn't hear, not to make you be happy. They ain't never been said to me. Pe women have came over to my they house and ate dinner said to with y'all like they were your family. No. Like y'all was a no. family. Yes. But no. you know something, Danica? Have... You know what he says? No. You blow up his phone all day long yes. when he's at I've work. I've called his phone 30, 40, 50 Every times Every day at work. One day. Every day at work. One day, Every day I would call at work, your man. phone. You I mean, had women I said, write me I try and to tell work. me that they're sleeping second. with you. Wait a second. I try and work. I, you know, I work. I do. I do home construction and stuff. You know, and I work. When I do work, you know, what I'm saying she calls, she blows up my phone. You know, at time to time, I'm not doing much at all at work, so I got time to talk to her. But then there's times that she calls, I'm I'm busy doing something, so I tell her like, you know, I can't get on the phone and talk. How can a strange woman come into your house and describe the baby furniture in the bedroom? But the girl. The girl that came in the room was not a strange woman. She was been a family friend for a long time, and to like I said, you know what I mean. She's never she, been to the house. She never she, has she been she to my house. She come to the house and she asked if she could see the kids. I let her see the kids. Her and her and Danica has had problems in the past. So you know, when me and Danica went together, so she asked if she could see the kids. So you disrespect me and let this woman in my house. She asked if she could see the kids, so I let her see the kids. Disrespect me and let her in my house. Then when she went to the bathroom, well, we're gonna find out. I mean, you all have a newborn, so I hope yep. everything turns out well here. And by the way, congratulations on being a good dad. Well, thank okay. you very much. Okay. <laughs> During your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with a woman who texted Danica saying that she had sex with you in your house? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Danica. Danica. Do you want to hear the rest? You want to oh hear the rest? God, are you serious? Did you have sexual intercourse with the woman who described your bedroom to Danica on Facebook during your relationship? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh my God, are you serious? Why? Why would you do this to me? I didn't, man. I just had our son three I weeks didn't. ago. I what didn't. Why would the have you had sex or intercourse with a woman other than Danica in the bed you share together during your relationship? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Are you serious? In my bed? In my bed? Really? No, I didn't. In my bed. So then why I would didn't. it say that you're lying? I didn't. Why would it say that you're lying if you're not? I don't know. I you didn't. don't know. That's all D you can say to me is you don't know. During your relationship, you have serious? you ever had have you ever had sex or intercourse? Have you ever had sexual intercourse with the woman who wrote to Danica on Facebook? Every time you call his phone, he doesn't answer. It's because he's in bed with me. You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done through with this. Whatever, man. And did the girl's hoodie... I hate you. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> and the other thing was the hoodie that he found in the bedroom belonged to a woman he had sexual intercourse with, he said no, the lie detector determined that was a lie. Really? Really, you're gonna have sex with a friend of mine that I grew up with? Are you serious? Oh, my God, I Jimmy. Didn't. Now, look, now, look, I Danica, didn't. before you go home, you have a <laughs> newborn. You have a newborn. I want both of you to meet with my counselor, Stephen. I want you to be able to talk <laughs> about this. You all have a newborn. I didn't, I'm sorry. 
bitch, you did. All I did was ask for the truth. I'm sorry. In order to please her husband, Pete, Bonnie had a threesome with him and another woman. It was a one-time thing. But now Bonnie thinks Pete is still secretly sleeping with the other woman. Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Could all of her suspicions be wrong? Or could they actually be right? <laughs> you said you loved me! The scandalous truth is coming out. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. Everyone, this is Bonnie. Welcome Bonnie to the show. Now, Bonnie, Bonnie has a boyfriend, Pete, for 10 years. Then they got married. But it, it came... It came to a screeching halt, the honeymoon did, when Bonnie discovered she had an STD. So Bonnie suspects that Pete is leading a secret double life and is paying prostitutes for sex. You see, the reason is that uh, money becomes missing. I mean, it, it just comes up missing. But Pete has an explanation. He says the missing money are going to feed his addiction, which is fast food and french fries. I have dedicated 10 years of my life to my husband, and I'm afraid that it may be filled with all lies and deceit. I noticed that money has been missing from my husband's paychecks, and he admitted to me that he had talked to the neighborhood prostitute. I need to know if he is paying for sex. I allowed my husband, Pete, and I to participate in a threesome, but that was a one-time thing. I believe he continued to see that woman behind my back. My doctors told me I tested positive for an STD. I haven't been with another man in years, so it had to have been from him. I pray with all of my heart that Pete passes this lie detector test. If not, I am filing for divorce. <laughs> Now, guess what? We just, we just passed over a little part of the story. A threesome? You yes. did a threesome? Yes. Um. <laughs> We've been together long enough, you know, and, and I know that every man secretly desires to have a threesome. So I allowed... But it was a one-time thing. A one-time thing. And I think that he was continuing to see her. How do you know that? Pete had called me in Memphis and told me, you know, that our Karma Sutra D DVDs came in the mail. Your what? Karma Sutra DVDs. <laughs> I asked him not to open those. Somehow I just lost you there. He opened those DVDs while I was in Memphis. Oh. And I believed he watched those with her and tried those positions with her. I see. You admit you've had a rough time in your life. Yes, I've had a lot of loss in my life recently, and it may have decreased my sexual intimacy. And I believe that because of that, he's going out and cheating on me. You really think he gave you an STD? I'm not sure. I mean, that's why I'm here today to find out about this lie detector test. If he fails even one question, right. I am filing for divorce. Okay. <laughs> so. So Pete works. I mean, he's a hardworking guy. He, he, he has uh, pay slips, uh, but somehow the money comes up missing. There's money missing. He I don't says, know where it's going. He's, he knows where it's going. I don't believe that for a he's second. He's stuffing himself with fast food. No, he isn't, more. He has an no, addiction to French that. fries. Uh-huh. Really? You don't think yeah. so? He wants some fries with that shake. <laughs> Before, and he admitted it the first time he did cheat on me he dumped me for this girl and told me that it was he had just met her in my heart I believe that he was seeing her weeks before he dumped me for her nice. this is what Pete had to say my wife Bonnie thinks I'm paying for sex but the only thing I'm actually paying for is my fast food addiction my money isn't going to hookers it's going to french fries and fountain drinks 
I don't have receipts to prove it, but who actually keeps a receipt for a Big Mac? I've been solicited by the town prostitute, but it's like my mother always told me. You can look at the menu, but go home for dinner. Why would I have sex with a prostitute when I have my beautiful wife waiting for me at home? I admitted cheating on my wife, Bonnie, one time eight years ago. It would be nice if she could put the past behind her and look forward to our future together. Bonnie, this paranoia needs to end, and I'm going to prove my innocence today. Okay, now, see, Bonnie? You can look at the menu, but you go home to dinner. Here's you know Pete, what? everybody. I know. She says, because she's gone through a lot of loss, uh, she's kind of lost her feeling for intimacy, and that's why you're messing around on No, her. sir, I'm not messing around with her, Maury. You're not. I've got a beautiful woman, and I love her with all I my heart. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a minute. You, you have made jokes. You and I have had arguments, and you've admitted to sleeping with other women. I don't know if you were just saying that to piss me off or what. Are you having an affair? No, I am not, Bonnie. If you fa fail even one question today, I am done. Yeah. So, Pete, you and I like fast food. Yes, sir. And you dip into your paycheck pretty deeply for it? I spend probably $50, $75 a week on fast food. You do? Junk food. She thinks you're spending on, on no, prostitutes. Sir, I am not. Are you why, ever... you, why should I believe that? You have lied to me about so many other things before. I, I don't even think I could trust you ever again. Pete, I read, I read that the biggest thing you ever regret is having that threesome. That and cheating on her the one time I told her, first time I cheated on her, and she knows about it. That is, a, yes. And so why do you regret the threesome? Because there are a lot of guys who dream about things like that. It's absolutely not worth it. Not because worth it. it's been nothing but a headache ever since, Maury. Because ever since that happened, that, that's when the suspicion started. Is that she right? She started making phone calls after this. You know, it was supposed to be like a no contact thing after that. She kept calling our house. She was calling my cell phone. She's called your cell phone. I've and seen I've her number you. in your phone. And I told you when she called. You can say what you want to say. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Okay. During your relationship with Bonnie, have you ever paid for sex or had sexual intercourse with a prostitute? You said no. The lie detector determined. Don't change the channel. <laughs> you said you loved me. The scandalous truth is coming out. This young man thinks Clarence is secretly cheating. Yes, I'm furious. I'm furious. On his mother. <laughs> You need Real to respect mom. me and my mom. You need to respect my mom. But the lie detector results are in. I want to hear this. Let's go. And you won't believe what happened. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. Everyone, this is Laverne. Welcome, Laverne, to the show. And, and next to Laverne. Next to Laverne is her son, Chris. Welcome, Chris. Well, somehow in this story, the number 13 plays a part, you see, because it might be an unlucky number for some, and for Laverne, it could be unlucky for her today, because that's how long Laverne and her fiancé, Clarence, have been together, 13 years. But she thinks the relationship could end today. Because one month ago, Laverne's son, Chris, came to his mother with a disturbing piece of evidence. He found a purple hair weave on their bathroom floor. <laughs> and so Laverne and Chris now think that Clarence is leading a shocking secret sex life. Watch. One month ago, my son, Chris, came to me and told me that Clarence was cheating on me again. But I had my suspicions all along. I found a cheap 
fake poop earring in my bed, and Clarence has no explanation on how it got there. I found a purple hair track in a hallway near the bathroom. Now, I know my mom doesn't wear purple hair, so where else did it come from? He has to be cheating with another woman. My son and my fiance are speaking right now. Me and my fiance are speaking right now. Our whole household is at war and it's breaking my heart. So what was it like when Chris came to you with that piece of evidence? Maury, it was devastating. I couldn't believe it. I've been with this man for 13 years. Yes, I know in the past, you know, the first 11 years we were together, yeah, he did his stuff out there, but in the last two years, he told me that he was going to straighten up, Maury. So we're talking about the last two years. Yes, and Maury. This, and, and the hair weave was how long ago? The last month. My son last came to month. me last month and told me that yes. he found the purple yes. hair weave. Yes. You're angry with him aren't you yes I'm furious I'm furious I'm but here's the problem Chris this this has got to be bittersweet for you because he's been in your life how long 13 years man. he kind of raised you yes he was like a father figure he was he was everything he, used, he raised me I lived in his house and everything he man. is his dad he's his dad that's the only dad that he really knows Maury and now you think that he has embarrassed you and your mother. Yes. So is it just the hair we were talking about or no, other stuff? No, Maury. One day I came home from work, <laughs> went to go take a nap, pulled the covers back, and it's a cheap gold earring in my bed. <laughs> I don't even wear hoop gold earrings. I don't even wear those kind Where of earrings. Where did he say that came from? He said it may be one of my daughters. My daughters do not sleep in my bed. <laughs> the hair weave. He said that may come from my daughters also. My daughters don't wear hair weave and I don't even wear hair weave and especially no. purple. So in other words, he says he loves you. Why would he hang around if you think he's messing around with other people? Maury, I truly believe he's with me because I'm the bread soul winner right now. I'm the one that's taking care of all the bills. I'm the one that's working. Yeah. I'm yeah. The yeah. He's doing everything. He's cheating. He's, he's, using he's using my mind. Well, Clarence says, he swears that in the last two years, he's turned his life around, he goes to church, he loves you all dearly, and he wouldn't do anything like that. This is what Clarence told my producers. Laverne and I have been together for 13 years. Everything was great until about one month ago. When Laverne's son, Chris, starts sticking his nose where it doesn't belong, he started telling his mother I was having secret phone conversations in the bathroom with other women telling them that I liked how they looked that day. Even if these phone conversations did take place, they're none of his damn business. Chris said that he found a purple hair weave in the hallway. There's two women living in our house, and they always have friends over doing hair. Laverne claims she found a hoop earring in our bed. All I can tell you is it didn't come from a woman that I slept with. Chris, I refuse to let you destroy my relationship with your mother. Laverne, I love you, and I just want you to trust me. When the test proved that I'm telling the truth, I want an apology from you and Chris. Everybody, here's Clarence. Clarence, come on out. You need Real to res talk. you need you to learn to, to respect you me and mind your own business. My mom, but 13 years, 13 years. That's right. You, that's not nothing to play with. Have a seat. Go over there. See, that ain't nothing to play with. Like real talk. You sit over here. Let me sit next to my one. Oh really? Okay. Wow. It's you not my business. It's, not, it's business. not my business. That's my I'm mama. I love her. It is my business. I'm not I know one thing, I know one thing. This test come back, you cheating, you gone, bro. Well, you when this gone. test come back, yeah. you're not yeah. going to be gone. Yeah. You That's right. And if you're racist, then why would you do this to me? Why would you even show him an example of how you cheat? Levon, I swear, I haven't cheated in the last two years. Like I said, when, when I said I was going to change, I changed. I found God, and I, and I love you. Okay, well, whose earring was that in my bed then? I have no idea. Okay, I don't whatever. Know. Whose purple hair was that? I don't wear hair weave. Well, your Who's daughter do hair. Five days a week at the your donor. Your daughter do all. Five days a week at oh, the donor. I leave the house every day. Five days a week at the donor. And your video game. Five days a week at the donor. So, in other words, you use the center as an excuse to leave. Well, yes, I leave every day. Right. I yeah, but you what. tell you tell me that you're going to do other things and you go out and then you don't come back home. Sometimes I call your phone and then your phone, you never answer the phone. Why don't you answer the phone? Why? What's up? What's wrong? Why are you not answering the phone? You always claim you don't hear your phone. You always claim you don't hear your phone.
Oh. Either I don't hear it or it or it doesn't. Whatever, whatever. Well. I don't want to hear it. Why, doing something. why can't you believe he that he's trying to I can't this wait for this lie detector test to prove it. I can't wait the for the lie detector to come back to you. Because if it's proven that you cheating on me, you are gone. You are fine. Hey, hey. And if it's proven that I'm telling the truth, he's gone. Come on, let me see this. I want to hear this. Let's go. I'm getting excited now. Let's make sure you look me in my eye, because I oh, want to know. Yes, baby, I love you. All right, we, we asked you. Okay, we asked week. you, Clarence, did the purple hair track that Chris found on the bathroom floor belong to a woman that you had sexual intercourse with? No. You said no. The lie detector determined. The lie detector results are next. And you won't believe what happened. No, I am not. Don't change the channel. <laughs> you said you love me. The scandalous truth is coming out. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. One month ago, my son Chris came to me and told me that Clarence was cheating on me again. I found a cheap fake hoop earring in my bed, and Clarence has no explanation on how it got there. I found a purple hair track in a hallway near the bathroom. Me and my fiance aren't speaking right now. Our whole household is at war and it's breaking my heart. Laverne and I have been together for 13 years. Everything was great until about one month ago, when Laverne's son, Chris, starts sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. Chris said he found a purple hair weave in the hallway. All I can tell you is it didn't come from a woman that I slept with. Laverne, I love you, and I just want you to trust me. I can't wait for the light to take the combat, too. Because if you don't, if it's proven that you cheat on me, you are gone. You are fine. Hey, hey, and if it's proven that I'm telling the truth, he's gone. Come on, let me see this. I want to hear this. Let's go. I'm getting excited now. Let's make sure you look me in my eye. Cause I oh, want to know. Yes, baby, I love you. All right, we'll we see. asked you. Okay, we asked you, see. Clarence, did the purple hair track that Chris found on the bathroom floor belong to a woman that you had sexual intercourse with? No. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Oh. Just one, Maury. Keep going. Keep going, Maury. That's one. just one. We asked you, did the hoop earring that Laverne find in your bed belong to a woman you had sexual intercourse with? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Come on, come on. Thank Keep you, going. thank you. Keep going. We asked you, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman when you say you are going to donate plasma? This you, one I want to hear. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Man, you're good. Man, you're good. All right, all right, this is good. I respect We you. asked I you, respect in you. the past two years, in the past two years, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman in the bed you share with Laverne? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. One more. And this one yeah. more. We got one more. Don't get don't get too excited yet. We don't asked you excited. during the past two years of your relationship with Laverne, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? Does that say everything? Everything. That I'll says be. everything. You said no, the lie detective determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Well, I have to man. My bad. My bad. You wanted a faithful man. You now have a faithful man, okay? Yeah. So go home. Be happy. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Renee is married, yet still a teenager. She thinks her husband's not attracted to her.
discovered that he's more interested in looking at porn sites and meeting other women. I just don't know what to do anymore. What will a lie detector test reveal to this young teen bride? The lie detector determined. Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Don't change the channel. <laughs> you said you love me. The scandalous truth is coming out. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. Everyone, this is Renee. Welcome, Renee. To the now, having a child born with a disability can put a lot of stress on a new marriage. But uh, for Renee, this strain has been magnified because she fears her husband, Matt, has been cheating. She discovered Matt on six profiles of different dating sites. <laughs> and Matt got caught paying to view live women on porn sites. <laughs> then sent half-naked pictures of himself to other women. <laughs> this is how much it's upsetting Renee. The day Matt asked me to marry him, it was the 4th of July. And I never cried so much from just being happy. <laughs> My marriage is failing. I just don't know what to do anymore. There's just so many different reasons why he think Matt's cheating on me. Why would he have dating websites if he's married to me? He comes home and he watches porn all the time and he won't even have sex with me anymore. Discovering that our daughter had cystic fibrosis is ruining our marriage. It hurts so much that I can't cure it and I can't take it away from her. I feel so alone in this marriage. And I don't want to be lonely anymore. Okay. We better tell everybody about a certain side of Matt. He is a terrific father he's to the, your daughter. He's the best dad I could ever ask for. He loves her so much. And he does everything he can for her. And you're pregnant. <laughs> and you also think that maybe he is messing around with other women because you've gained weight? This is what Matt had to say. <laughs> Renee and I got married young, but I wouldn't change it for a thing. She's my life, she's my everything. The day we got engaged was the 4th of July. I couldn't think of a better way to celebrate than with fireworks. When my daughter was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, it was, it was really stressful. It was in and out of hospitals. It was just too much to bear. Ever since the pregnancy, Renee has put on a little bit of weight. That's caused her to have a really low self-esteem. It hurts me to think that because of her insecurities, she thinks that I'm just going to cheat on her. I stood by her through thick and thin. She should trust me. They say trust is earned. And after this lie detector test, I know I'll earn her trust back. All right, everybody, here's Matt. Matt, come on out. <laughs> You love this woman? Yes, I do. You wouldn't cheat on her? No, I would not. You would not? No. Because I want to tell you, a lot is at stake here. First of all, congratulations on being a terrific dad. Thank you. You would not want that relationship changed. You wouldn't want that relationship changed because your wife might get rid of you if you've been cheating on her. You wouldn't want to damage that, right? No, I wouldn't. I... You have another child coming. You yes. should be excited. Yeah, I'm extremely excited, actually. You are? Yes. How about all these accusations and suspicions? I'm not too excited about that. I, I well, don't what know else what do else. you want me to think, Matt? How do you explain the websites? Yeah. They have all the information. They have your age. They have... You're, you're sending half-naked pictures of yourself to women was because you just wanted to show people how much weight you had lost at the yeah. time? <laughs> about weight loss she right. said she was gaining weight so i was telling her what i did to lose all that weight because yeah. i did lose a so lot then of why weight. did you need to send her a half naked picture why can't you have your shirt on or what are the other many because that was the only have? picture i had back okay. then with okay. how i looked we're going to find out the results right now okay <laughs> <clears throat> we asked you did you have sexual intercourse with the woman who you sent a half naked picture of yourself to you said no the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. 
We asked you during your relationship. We asked you during your relationship with Renee, have you ever signed yourself up for dating websites in order to have sexual intercourse with other women? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> We asked you, Mac, did you, during your relationship with Renee, have you ever had any type of sexual contact with any other woman? You said no, the lie detector determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> this is a good man. You're lucky to have In order to please her husband, Pete, Bonnie had a threesome with him and another woman. It was a one-time thing. But now Bonnie thinks Pete is still secretly sleeping with the other woman. Are you having an affair? No, I am not. Could all of her suspicions be wrong? Or could they actually be right? <laughs> you said you loved me! The shocking truth is next. of scandalous secrets revealed continues i have dedicated 10 years of my life to my husband and i'm afraid that it may be filled with all lies and deceit i noticed that money has been missing from my husband's paychecks and he admitted to me that he had talked to the neighborhood prostitute i need to know if p is paying for sex my doctors told me I tested positive for an STD. I haven't been with another man in years, so it had to have been from him. I pray with all of my heart that Pete passes this lie detector test. If not, I am filing for divorce. My wife Bonnie thinks I'm paying for sex, but the only thing I'm actually paying for is my fast food addiction. I've been solicited by the town prostitute, but it's like my mother always told me. You can look at the menu, but go home for dinner. Bonnie, this paranoia needs to end, and I'm gonna prove my innocence today. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Okay. During your relationship with Bonnie, have you ever paid for sex or had sexual intercourse with a prostitute? You said no, the lie detector determined you are telling the truth. Oh, During your relationship, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman you and Bonnie had a threesome with more than that one time? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. Oh, did you contact an STD because you had sex with a woman other than Bonnie during your relationship? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. How can you do this to me? You are done. <clears throat> Who did you sleep with? Did you have sex or intercourse? You are done. Did you have sex or intercourse with the woman you admitted to cheating on Bonnie with more than the one time that Bonnie knows about during the relationship? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. That STD, Bonnie Lynn. Get away from me! Get away from me now! We are done. You can take that ring off because it does not belong to your heart anymore. Why did you do this? You said you, you said you loved me. You said you only wanted to be with me. I do, Bonnie Lynn. Why would you sleep with somebody else? Then? I haven't slept with anybody else. That's other than a that was over eight Why? years ago. Why? Why would you do this to us? You passed every other question but those two. That proves you're lying. We just had a baby together, and now did. you ruined everything. An hour of scandalous secrets revealed continues. I want to thank all of my guests for joining me today. I want to thank everybody across the country 
who watches Mari so loyally every day, I want to thank my live studio audience. You are the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Until next time, America. Thank you. Right now, on an emotional morning, this woman believes her fiance has been having a secret affair with her own sister. Ashley! No, she's crazy. One secret. Since you been serious with Jay, um... You just don't know! One sexy undercover decoy. <laughs> and one unbelievable round of lie detector results. The lie detector determined... He's been manscaping down below. How come you're starting to shave down there? I'm a man. I want to keep my lips clean. I like, I like it. it. Will the lie detector results expose that Daniel has a secret double sex life? The lie detector test determined. <laughs> this man is confined to a wheelchair. I'm in a wheelchair. Who else am I going to be sleeping with? <laughs> but his stepdaughters believe that hasn't stopped him from cheating on their mother. Boy, he cheats on my mom, and when he comes back home, even his underwear is different. <laughs> How come you come home without your underwear? I go to therapy. I'm not gonna take no more coming home with the drawers. <laughs> it's four against one, and the shocking results are in. The lie detector determined. <laughs> A Mari lie detector original is about to begin. Everyone, this is Chrissy. Welcome Chrissy back to the show. You see, last year, Chrissy and her sister Ashley were brought here by their cousin Rena because Rena was suspecting that both Chrissy and her sister Ashley were sleeping with her, the cousin's fiance, Kelly. So why, why is Chrissy back today? Let's take a look at their last appearance. I believe with every breath in my body that my fiance is sleeping with both my cousins, Ashley and Chrissy. So I saw him coming out of their room with underwear on. And Chrissy had on a bra that was halfway open. What did you think the first time Rena accuses you of this with her cousins? She's crazy. <laughs> wow, you so focused on me and so worried about what I'm doing. I love my sister, but I believe he is sleeping with her. Oh my God, are you serious? Have you ever had any type of sexual contact with Chrissy? Kelly, you said no. You're telling the truth. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Have you had any type of sexual contact with Rena's cousin, Ashley? You said no. You're telling the truth. Thank you! Okay, so both sisters were innocent. So, why is Chrissy back? It's a whole new family drama. Oh. You see, for the last 15 years, Chrissy has been on and off again with her fiancé, Dre. Sadly, Chrissy now fears Dre is a serial cheater and suspects that one of the women he's been cheating with is her own sister, Ashley! Oh. You're I know the truth. I just want them to tell the truth. Can't nobody tell me nothing. I know the truth. I know it. I know it. I know it. Hey, Chrissy, wait a second. Okay. So, wait a second. You say you know your man when something's going wrong. Is that I know. right? I know. You know? And you know your sister. Yeah. And you they think... both loose and they both sluts. <laughs> You think he's doing other women too? The neighbor. The neighbor? She, she, yes, yes, yes. You think he's yes. really gotten somebody else pregnant? Yes, either that or he hasn't got already. What's gonna happen if he's unfaithful? If he's unfaithful, he's staying out 
And if he cheated with my sister, that's my sister, so I know down the road I'm going to have to love her, have to forgive her. But right now, I don't have to forgive anybody. This I don't is have what, to forgive nobody. This is what Dre had to say. I've been with my fiance Chrissy for 15 long years. All this drama started six years ago when she started accusing me of sleeping with her sister Ashley. Chrissy got mad at me on Valentine's Day because I gave her sister a bracelet and some chocolate. But Ashley's like a sister to me. Why wouldn't I get her something? Ashley and I have been friends for 15 years. So we go to dinner, we go to the movies. So what? That's what friends do. One day we all went out to eat and Chrissy sweared that me and Ashley snuck out to the bathroom together. She's crazy. Chrissy think I'm sleeping with lots of other girls too. She even thinks I got another girl pregnant. I love Chrissy. We even went to go pick out wedding rings a couple months ago. But if she keep accusing me of cheating, there would never be a wedding. All right, everybody, here's Dre. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've all been together a long time. Whatever. Sit down. Whatever. Sit down. This Brandon was great. This was great. This Brandon was great. Let's talk. Let's talk. How you doing, boy? Fine. Nice to see you. Let's talk about Ashley first. Right. What would you consider her? This is for good friend. We've been friends for years. No. Yeah. Yeah. She Sometimes. says you treat her better than you treat Chris. No, nah, that's impossible. Okay, that's impossible. Okay, Valentine's Day, I see you getting out the car with a bag. I'm like, oh, my boo boo bought me something special. And I did. I did. He come in, he give both of us flowers. That both, both of us a car. You and Ashley. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Both of us some candy. There's nothing wrong that with that. Then he hands me a box with a smile on his face. So I open it. I look at it. It's a little plaque, and it says some kind of crazy, stupid man with all my love heart. Some, it That's was some crazy heart. on there. It was from the heart. And then I looked at her open hers. It was a charm bracelet with different charms on it. <laughs> With Ashley, never right? in my life, never. So I'm looking like, I wouldn't where do that. I wouldn't do that. Like, and he nah. said, well, it's from the heart. It's exactly. so, so special to me. Exactly. It came from me. I got it was in the grave, grave at the mall. It was a grave. grave. He said he got in the grave at the mall, but more I went to Family Dollars and seen something that resembled it. Nah, 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 she lied. She lied. She lied. She lied. She lied. Nah, nah, she lied. She lied. She knows she did you get another woman pregnant? No, she's crazy. By the way, they think he got another woman pregnant because he's been having morning sickness. That's no, crazy. Wait, That's wait, crazy. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not a woman. How would I have morning sickness? Right. I'm not a woman. Uh, and nah. the smells of certain foods making him sick. Here having a sickness. is Sister no. Ashley. Welcome, Ashley. <laughs> Time you were here uh, with your Shame cousin Rita. The, 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 the last time you were here with your cousin Rita and your sister Chrissy. Yes, sir. You were you were really upset. I was that, very that Chrissy upset. thought you were sleeping with your cousin's fiance. Hell yeah! See, see, I see, was what? My ass was on because any touch and feeling anything I say, I was on it. <laughs> 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 Chrissy, I want to tell you something. Ashley has something that she wants to tell you. We go ahead and tell her. Get shit next to your sister. Since you've been serious with Jay, um, we have slept together. you to know before we read the lie detector results. You wanted the truth. I want the truth and the whole truth. Right, well, that's what we do. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole truth. So we put Dre in a room with f uh, female decoys and a hidden camera. Oh, and to explain what happened yesterday, our friend, private investigator, Wendy Kleinneck. Wendy. They don't say nothing. They don't say nothing. We've just heard some disturbing admission by Ashley. With the video you're about to see Amen. from last night with you in the room with the decoy nah, is even it, worse no room. than it left the decoy traumatized. Let's go. Yeah. In Compton, we're getting a little nervous, man. You know, I'm starting to... Why? ...get up a little bit. What are you nervous for? I'm not so pretty this time. During your relationship with Chrissy, have you gotten another woman pregnant? You said no. The lie detector determined one unbelievable round of lie detector results. The lie detector determined later this hour. Shatan fears her first anniversary with her husband, Thomas, will never happen. Her three daughters agree. Boy, he cheats on my mom, and when he comes back home, even his underwear is different. Thomas has severe vertigo and says life in a wheelchair makes cheating impossible. How come you come home without your underwear? I go to therapy. I'm not gonna take no more coming home with the drawers. Oh! It's four against one, and the shocking results are in. The lie detector determined. Oh! Stop waiting for this. Intense lie detector drama continues on this hour of Mari. Everyone, Meet three sisters, Diana, Josie, Diamond. Welcome. Okay. They are here. They are here for one reason. They want to prove that their stepfather, Thomas, is cheating on their mother, Shatan. Now, wait a minute. Thomas and Shatan have been going together for some time. They got married last year. They even have a child. Aww. But the honeymoon is over. You see, Shatan and her daughters are convinced Thomas is cheating. Thomas says, here's the deal. I have severe vertigo. I'm confined, he says, to a wheelchair. It makes it impossible that I can cheat. Yeah. What do you mean, no? Diana, how do you how do you know that? Mari, he cheats on my mom. He hides his phone. He makes the wheelchair an excuse for him he to just do whatever he wants. Excuse. The wheelchair is no excuse. What happened when a mysterious woman came to the house? A woman came she to came my to mom's house. house. Yeah. My mom found a number in his phone, and she he was out of town. Number. She called the number, and the lady knew that he was out of town, meaning that. He was talking to the lady. She had a bracelet that my mother Wait, gave so to him. she showed up at the house? Yes. yes. They were having, was having sex she's, with the, the lady woman. lady had told my mother that she was celibate for seven years and that he took her that from celibacy. her. And he gave her a present. Yeah, he gave her a present. The bracelet was for sex. But here it is. Wait, wait a second. Thomas, you know, Thomas goes to therapy at the VA, right? Mm -hmm. And when he comes back home to my mom's house, yeah. he has different clothes on. My mom said even he... his underwear is different. <laughs> she said... He comes home sometimes, without, he has no underwear. Without underwear. Where is his underwear? This is what Thomas had to say. My wife, Shatan, is the love of my life. We have a beautiful two-year-old daughter together, but I am tired of all these ridiculous accusations. I shouldn't have to prove to her or her three nosy-ass daughters that I'm not cheating. Some random woman showed up at the house claiming that I had sex with her. Shatan even thinks she was wearing a watch that she gave me, but it was a completely different watch. I'm in a wheelchair. Who else am I going to be sleeping with? 
So Tan claims she found the condom wrapper in my wallet. My two-year-old must have put it in there because it sure wasn't me. I would never jeopardize our relationship. As for Deanna, Josie, and Diamond, y'all need to stay out of me and your mother's relationship and mind your own damn business. Here's Thomas, everybody. can't mess around because you're in a wheelchair. No, I don't say that. Well, I don't. <laughs> I don't say that. I just, my thing is, I found a woman that I was looking for. If you're not messing around, how come you come home without your underwear? Oh, I go to I therapy. Stand about on you. The underwear is gone. <laughs> when I go to therapy, when I go to therapy, I go in the pool. I ain't gonna wear my good clothes when they're wet. But, but when you get on the phone, this is what Shatan had to say. Watch. I've been with my husband Thomas for four years. After an 18 year failed marriage, I thought I found the man of my dreams. And on November the 16th, it will be our first wedding anniversary. There won't be anything to celebrate if I find out Thomas has been cheating on me. A woman shut up in my door wearing the watch that I gave to Thomas. She said that her and my husband had been having sex. Three different occasions. Thomas has came home wearing no underwear. What the hell happened to them? Thomas thinks I'm crazy, but my daughter thinks he's cheating too. Just because he's in that wheelchair does not mean he's not a cheater. Everybody here's the car. This is the man you love. Yes, this is the man of my life, Maurice. You all have a child together. Yes. But? But I'm not going to take no more coming home with the drawers. Oh! <laughs> 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 yeah. Three the drawers times. off is bad. I mean, Three that... different times. What was it like when that mysterious woman showed up at your house? I couldn't believe it, Maury. She, was, she came to my house and she says, that's my man. I said, really? I said, honey, come to the door. And so the, he came to the door no, and he no, you has a me. stone face. I said, honey, do you know her? He says hi and turned back around. The lady oh, she, was oh, she was in tears, Maury. She's very beautiful. She is beautiful. She's very beautiful. We're ready to read the results of the lie detector test. <laughs> you were asked, did you give the woman who showed up your, at your house the watch that Shatan gave you? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Did you have sexual intercourse with the woman who showed up at your house claiming she had sex with you? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> When you come home with no underwear on, is it because you're having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. You were asked, Thomas, when you say you're going to the veterans' assistance storms, are you really having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Okay. 
Okay. You were asked, Thomas, during your relationship with Shaitan, have you had sexual intercourse with any of your exes? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, yeah. Amanda is unable to conceive children with her fiance Daniel. But she did develop a case of gonorrhea. We she brought that home to me. No. He's been manscaping down below. How come you're starting to shave down there? I'm a man. I want to keep my mess clean. I like it. Will the lie detector results expose that Daniel has a secret double sex life? The lie detector test determined. <laughs> Intense lie detector drama continues on this hour of Mari. Everyone, this is Amanda. Welcome, Amanda. To the show. Now, Amanda, Amanda admits that for several years she suffered through toxic relationships, but she believes she found her dream man when she met her fiance Daniel. But then. Her love for Daniel turned to rage the moment she found out she had an STD. So Amanda thinks Daniel is cheating on her with multiple women. And to make matters worse, Amanda believes the reason he is cheating is because Amanda cannot have any children. This is Amanda's story. When I met my fiance Daniel, he promised he would never hurt me. Now I think it was just all lies because I feel in my heart he was just cheating on me. I was told by doctors I would never be able to have children. All Daniel talks about is how he wants a baby boy. I'm terrified he's going to leave me for a woman who can give him what I can't. Two years ago, I got an STD. Daniel tried to blame it on me, but that's BS. Daniel started shaving his private parts. He must be doing it for some other whore. I found a picture of one of Daniel's ex-girlfriends hidden in his drawer. He said it was from years ago and forgot that it was in there. But I think he's still having sex with her. Daniel is 10 years older and I feel like he tries to take advantage of me. I put up with enough crap in my life and I will not stand for this anymore. Okay. What promise did he make you? He promised me that he would never hurt me never or cheat on me. So you found out two years ago that you had an STD? Yes, and he, he said that I gave it to him, but there's no way I gave it to him. I, I, tell you, I stay at home and take care of his daughter. What did you find in the ceiling? A phone number to the, the town whore. He took so much What did he say effort. about that? He said that it was old and it was a backup plan in case we didn't work out. <laughs> I don't know why a guy would want to shave his private parts. Especially as old as he is. That's, that's why I date older men. I, he looks like a little boy when he shaves it, and I talk to him. <laughs> You think he's been with his ex? I know he has. He's been to her house. He stayed at his, her house for three to four hours. What about the condoms? We had a box of condoms we wanted to try out, and we hadn't opened them yet. I went to go get them. One was missing. He said he gave, it, he, said he gave one to his friend, but his friend is a grown man. He can go get his own condoms. Well, this is what Daniel had to say. Watch. My fiance Amanda means the world to me. She thinks just because I'm 10 years older, I'm cheating on her. But that is not true. Amanda has been in bad relationships in the past, but it doesn't give her the right to accuse me of doing something that I am not. Amanda contracted an STD and said that I give it to her. I think that the finger is being pointed at the wrong person. She says that money comes up missing all the time. She's out of her damn mind. Amanda thinks that I still have a thing for my ex, but that's just crazy. I knew Amanda couldn't have kids from the start, so it's crazy for her to think that's the reason I was cheap. All right, everybody, here's Daniel. Daniel, come on up. Daniel, nice to see you. Let's 
get something straight. You would not cheat on her because she can't have kids, right? You've known that all along, right? I've known that all along, Miss Nuri, but there's You're no You're a one. liar. You, uh, your brother has a boy and your sister has a boy. That's what you want. Yes, you have. 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 You know you have. have. I cheated on you, and I can't even go nowhere without you checking me out, seeing where I'm at. Well, I wonder why I check you out. Because you're cheating. No, no, I can leave in my truck. we gone 15 minutes, missed a phone call, and I was cheating. Daniel, how did Amanda get the uh, sexually transmitted disease two years ago? Oh, we were broke up. We were broke up. No, we were she together. She brought that home to me. No, I did not. You're starting to shave down there. I'm a man. I want to keep my mess clean. I like, I like it. it. Daniel, That's you want right. to pass this test? Am I going to pass it, Mark? Yeah. I think no. I will. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yes, sir. Let's find it. out right Let's now. See it. Daniel, you were asked during your relationship with Amanda, did the STD she contracted come from you having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You were asked during your relationship with Amanda, have you had sexual intercourse with any of your ex-girlfriends? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Was the one condom missing from the box because you used it to have sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. sexual intercourse with another woman because you are no longer attracted to Amanda. You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. It's over. Over. Never again. Never. I will never come back to you. Larry has two children and 11 years of marriage with Virginia. I got a he says he has a recording of her sleeping with another man. Another man in your bedroom? Well, in the audio, yeah. Because someone no. broke in my house. Then why didn't you wake up? We were drinking that night. The baby comes we in. We were drinking. She took a lie detector test to stop his accusations. We've got it right let's here. Let's do that. Yes, let's... But will the results tear their family apart? The lie detector determined. Intense lie detector drama continues on this hour of Mari. Everyone, this is Virginia. Welcome, Virginia. To the show. Now, Virginia, Virginia is on a mission. She wants to prove her innocence. She's been with her husband, Larry, for more than a decade. They have two beautiful children together. But their house is not a home now. Because Larry is accusing her every day of cheating. In fact, Larry says he has a tape recording of Virginia having sex with another guy. Now take a look at Larry's shocking allegations. I know my wife Virginia has been cheating on me. And today, I'm going to catch her. She's sneaky, she's manipulative, and she's got everybody else thinking I'm the crazy one. I had to buy a voice recorder, and the very first time I had put it up, I caught her talking to another man in the same room that I sleep. I think I heard him having sex. My wife tried to say someone broke into our home and it wasn't her voice on the recorder. I had the sheriff come over because she said it was a break-in, and they don't believe that story. They told me infidelity. I also saw a hickey on her neck, and I don't give hickeys. I was strong for my kids for two years, but now it's trying to be strong for me. I need to know the truth. That is a lie. That is such a lie.
Why? He this is what he thinks. He While he's sleeping, you have brought somebody into the bedroom. No, no, that is not even what happened. That is not yeah. even what happened. First of all, the tape recorder was in the room because someone broke into our house. Yeah. I was not on that tape recorder at all. He claims he found something on your neck. Oh, yeah, he did. You're right. There was a hickey on my neck, and it was from him when he was intoxicated because <laughs> he was drunk. He was drunk, and he was so wasted that when he went to bed, the next morning he woke up and forgot about it. He says that it takes you, it takes you 13 miles to go to and from work. And yep. he, found a, he found out on the speedometer that 16 miles. Oh, yeah, it was. Have you heard of traffic? There's so traffic. So that extra three oh, miles. Oh, really, really? You were having they, some affair sure on that was. extra three miles. And three miles. miles. I went around the block, <laughs> and I must have screwed the neighbor and the grandpa. <laughs> Here's the obsessed Larry. Here Bring he him is. Out. Bring him out. <laughs> nice to see. Nice to see. You are crazy. Crazy. It's okay, because right now I'm about to prove you wrong. What was on that tape recorder? You can hear the thumping and the tearing up of a door being open, and then. Uh, yeah. And then you hear doors moving wait, wait and chains well, from wait, getting in the Larry cabinet because no, someone no. broke in my house. No. Then why didn't you wake up? We are going to play the tape. Everybody, I, I want to listen to all the sex that's going on, okay? Here. There's letting them in. Larry can come right in. That ain't me coughing. I'm snoring. Where am I? And how come you didn't wake up? Why didn't you wake up? Because I take sleep meds. Then that I took a few margaritas to go to sleep. Where are Bring out the results, because I'm about to Sound test this right now. Look, I want everybody to know. I want everybody to know at home oh, no. right now. Yeah. I would much rather look like a total <laughs> on this show and be a total idiot than her fail. You think she's messing around because there were three extra miles on the speedometer? I put, you know, I, I you used to call. Investigation, I, I right. Straight to her, work straight back. 13.2 miles. It takes 11 to 13 minutes to get there. Yeah. Right. Don't get stuck 15. behind a bus or a dump That's truck not or any truck. Miles. Miles. That's not gonna have miles. miles. That is, that is not going to add miles. It I don't will care about if you the turn time. the other direction. Oh, yeah. That, you okay. say that We've got it right Let's here. Do We're that. Find yes. it. Let's do Relationship with Larry. Yes, I've been waiting Did for this. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> this is hard. Bring it, Lord, please. Bring okay, it. here we go. During your relationship with Larry, did the hickey Ready? he Ready? saw on your neck come from having sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. The lie detector test determined. She took a lie detector test to stop his accusations, but will the results tear their family apart? The lie detector determined. Chrissy is terrified that her fiance Dre is sleeping with somebody else. Her own sister, Ashley. <laughs> no, she's crazy. One secret. Since you been serious with Jay, um... One sexy undercover decoy. <laughs> and one unbelievable round of lie detector results. The lie detector determined. <laughs> Maury. Stop waiting for this. Intense lie detector drama continues on this hour of Maury. I know my wife Virginia has been cheating on me. And today, I'm gonna catch her. 
I had to buy a voice recorder. And the very first time I had put it up, I caught her talking to another man in the same room that I sleep. I think I heard him having sex. I also saw a hickey on her neck. And I don't give hickeys. Bringing out the results, because I'm about to Sound pass it. this See. one. Out. I would much rather look like a total on this show and be a total idiot than her face. We've got it right let's here. Let's do that. Yes, let's do that. with Larry. Yes, I've been waiting Did for this. You, <laughs> you have no idea! <laughs> Okay, here we go. During your relationship with Larry, did the hickey ready? Ready? he saw on your neck come from having sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. truth. <laughs> you were asked if the unknown numbers that call your phone are from a man you have sexual intercourse with. You said no. The lie detector what? What? test determined you are telling the truth. You were asked to repeat that. You were asked, did, did you have sexual intercourse with another man in your home the night oh, Larry wait, claims good one. he caught you on the voice recorder? You are listening. You, you, listen you good. said listen. no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> Here's the best one, though. Oh. You were asked, during your relationship with Larry, have you had any sexual contact oh, okay. of any kind oh, with any other one. man? You said no. Here we go. The lie detector determined what? What? you are telling the truth. Chrissy is terrified that her fiance Dre is sleeping with somebody else. Her own sister Ashley! No, she's crazy. One secret. Since you been serious with Jay, um. One sexy undercover decoy. <laughs> and one unbelievable round of lie detector results. The lie detector determined. Intense lie detector drama continues on this hour of Mari. I've been with my fiance Chrissy for 15 long years. All this drama started six years ago when she started accusing me of sleeping with her sister Ashley. Chrissy thinks I'm sleeping with lots of other girls too. She even thinks I got another girl pregnant. Let's talk about Ashley first. Right. What would you consider her? This is a good friend. We've been friends for years. You haven't messed with Ashley. Never right? in my life. Never. So Ashley has something that she wants to tell you. We have slept together. That's a lie. We put Dre in a room with uh, female decoys. Oh, She loud. Okay, who's the test? That wasn't me. You're asked. You're asked during your relationship with Chrissy, have you gotten another woman pregnant? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. That's yeah. Why. That's why. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. You were asked for your relationship you. with Chrissy. Have you had sexual intercourse with her sister Ashley? You no. said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. You were asked. You were asked. Shh. If I was broke, then you never know. You were asked during your relationship with Chrissy. I was tired. Yeah, I right. call a professional liar when I see one. You know what? Flat out. Ralph is right. Ralph's tired hearing that excuse. That's what <laughs> no. You were asked during your relationship with Chrissy, did you have sexual intercourse with one of her cousins who you met at the club? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Would you rather be in a relationship with Ashley oh. instead of Chrissy? I don't want to. You I said don't... no. The lie detective determined, Dre, that was a lie. <laughs> no. Yeah, right. Ashley, you don't want to be with him. I don't want to be with him, and I've been no. told 
told you what this he was about. Yeah. Turn up on both yeah. y'all, holla! Intense lie detector drama continues on this hour of Mari. I want to thank all of my guests today. I want to thank everybody across the country who watches every day. I want to thank my live studio audience. Yeah. Yeah. The best. Until next time, America. Thank you. Drama on Maury. Witness the full impact of the truth. You better sit down and shut up now. Sit down. Know it. These young girls all want to get pregnant and become teen moms. And they haven't even finished the 10th grade. Desiree's a teen mom at 15 years old. And guess what? She wants another baby. All I want to do is help populate the world. Shut up. You want another baby? God put us on this world to reproduce, and that's all I'm trying to do is reproduce. This teen's been caught with boys in her mom's shower and bed. She can be really fun to be a mommy. Shut up! And she might be pregnant right now. The results are in. Is she pregnant at 16? This teen needs to be stopped before the unthinkable happens. She's been to drug rehab three times. I know I have an addiction, and I feel having a baby would clean me up and put me on the right path. You really think a baby's gonna clean you up? It's gonna help me. And what this 15-year-old gets caught saying on hidden camera causes a reaction oh we've never seen. Then, the teens spend one day in baby boot camp and something goes horribly wrong. Infant, infant, problem breathing. Can these young teen girls be stopped before it's too late? One of the reasons why we do this show, this particular theme, is that for the first time in 10 years, statistics are now showing that teen pregnancy is on the rise in the United States. Which brings me to my next guest. Bessie. Bessie fears that her 15-year-old daughter, Ravon, is about to become another statistic because Bessie believes Ravon is pregnant right now. So, now, this is only one of the several pregnancy scares that Ravon has had. And what's worse is that Bessie believes Ravon is leading a secret wild sex life, you see? Recently, Bessie woke up 3 o'clock in the morning and found two men hiding in Ravon's place. And that's just the beginning. What? My daughter, Ravon, used to be the smartest kid in school. She's just not the same person anymore. She's skipping school. She's running away. I just feel like I've lost my little girl. We wouldn't even have to be sitting here if my mom let me do whatever I want. I believe Ravon's had sex with five boys or more. There were two boys in her room. I told them to get out of my house, and she left with them. If my mom just let boys come over, then I wouldn't have to sneak boys in the house. She's already had two pregnancy scares. I'm hearing rumors that she could be pregnant again. She's not old enough to take care of a child. I know I could provide for my own. I would get a job at one of my favorite fast food restaurants. If I came home with $150, I don't think they're just giving it to her because she's cool. I bring home money because boys give me money. I'm not doing anything for the money. I'm so tired of waking up wondering if she's going to come home or if she's going to end up dead in the street somewhere. I'm going to do what I want to, when I want to, and she needs to shut up and let me do me. Here's the thing. Bessie thinks Ravon might be pregnant right now. Yes. 
And guess what? We offered to give Rayvon a pregnancy test. She refused. Well, Mari, she's going to take that test. Before we leave her today. She's taking that test today. So, why, why, why do you think she might be pregnant? Why do you think that? Mari, I got a call from a boy's mother that said my daughter told her son that she's pregnant by him and she has a sonogram to show him. And I asked Rayvon about it and she told me to mind my own business. Does she leave when she wants to? She leaves when she wants to. She comes when she wants to. She says what she wants to say. She... What happened at 3 a.m. one night? 3 a.m. one night, I woke up, routine thing. I go check on her. I hear her music playing really loud. I go to her door to open it up, and it has a knife stuck in it. As I'm pushing on the door, I see shadows moving, and I go in. She kind of lets me in, like, you know, hey, Mom, what do you want? I walk straight to her closet. There's two boys hiding in the closet. <laughs> they both out of the door. She leaves right with them. She left <laughs> And at the closet, by the way, it's not the only time uninvited boys were in the house. No, it's not the only time. Um, we had a friend come by one day, and he comes in to use the bathroom. He sees boys all in the living room, and here she comes out of her room with a boy with his pants over his shoulder. <laughs> this is how she is. This is what we deal with every day. And you know what, Mari? I'm here for a change. Oh, take it. Take it so take a look at this picture. Tell me, tell me whether you recognize her. Who's that? That's my baby right there. That's my little girl, and I want her back. That's my now, baby. I know, I know that there uh, are a lot of things that Rayvon does that you don't know about, and you're always worried about it. Yeah. And you wanted, finally, you wanted to find out exactly what her life is like because she won't tell you. Well, with the help of our special ops expert, Dave Vitale, we put Rayvon into a room, and we had a decoy posing as another teen guest, and this is what happened. Maybe this will give us a clue as to what kind of life she's leading. How many guys have you slept with? Like, five. Do you um, use, on, like, protection, like, at all with your boyfriend? No. Are you on the pill? No. Where's the craziest place you ever had sex in? At a park. <laughs> but it was in a car though, but it was like right in front of the park. Did you sneak out this night? You did sneak yeah. out? <laughs> oh my god! Did you know that she had sex with five different guys? No. No, no Mari. You didn't have any idea. I had that. no idea. All right, everybody, it's time to meet Ravon. This is what Ravon had to say before the show. Watch. Mom, you brought me on the show to scare me, to make me cry. Well, it's not going to work. You can get Murray, the big muscle guy, anybody you want, but it's not going to change me. The only person that needs to change their attitude is you. Here, everybody, is 15-year-old Raymond. Your mom, your mom thinks you're out of control. You out of control? No, I'm not out of control. You're not out of control. No, I'm not out of control. I don't do nothing well, well, out of control. Well, let, let me ask you this. When there are two guys in your closet, what do you think that is? That's not out of control. That's not out of control. I when you have when you have all these pregnancy scares, that's not out of control. No, it's not out of control. That's not out of control. So in other words,
other words, Rayvon, what you want to tell us is that you're not as wild as your mom thinks you are. No, I'm not as wild as well, my mom thinks I am. Well, guess what? I mean, last night you were in a and we put a decoy. Oh, God, no, I ain't seen it. times do you think you've had sex? Not a lot. Not a lot? Nope, not at all. How many guys? Three. Five. Three to five. Three to five. It ain't a lot. Why do you want a baby? What, well, she told y'all that too? Well. Well, she lied. But if you, if, if you had all these pregnancy scares, it looks like, it, it, obviously you thought about the possibility and you figured, well, if it happens, it happens. Well, I guess so. You know what happens when girls your, at your age have babies that young. You know what happens. First of all, the guys never show up. I guess. They never take care of those babies. You end up with that baby alone. You're going to have to have your parents take care of it. I don't need her for nothing. You know what I think? What? I think you want to change. You just don't want to admit it. I think I was going to change before this, but I think not now. We'll be back, I think not now. Desiree's a teen mom at 15 years old, and guess what? She wants another baby. All I want to do is help populate the world. You want another baby? God put us on this world to reproduce, and that's all I'm trying to do is reproduce. This teen's been caught with boys in her mom's shower and bed. It can be really fun to be a mommy. Shut up! And she might be pregnant right now. The results are in. Is she pregnant at 16? The teens spend one day in baby boot camp and something goes horribly wrong. Infant, infant, problem breathing. All I want to do is help populate the world. Everyone, this is Janae. Welcome, Janae, to the show. Now, this is very interesting. Because I want also for you to see Janae's 15-year-old daughter, Desiree. And this is daughter Desiree's <coughs> five-month-old son, Casey. That's right, she's 15 with a five-month-old. And if that's not shocking enough, guess what? Desiree is determined to get pregnant again and have another baby. But this time, Desiree wants a girl. That's what she says. So today, Janae is here, dead set on stopping her 10th grade daughter from making the same mistake twice. Watch. 
When Desiree got pregnant, it broke my heart. She got pregnant as a joke. She has a baby that she can't fully take care of. I'm a strong, independent woman, and I can take care of him on my own. The icing on the cake is Desiree wants to get pregnant again. I want my baby to have a little brother or sister to play with. I don't want him growing up to be a lonely, weird, only child. We get home. She puts the baby in my arms, and she tells me that her shift is over. Casey's a cute baby, but when he cries, I get annoyed. I ask my mom for help, but I don't see what the big deal is. I feed him, I bathe him, I make his bottles. How hard is it to make one more bottle and to get extra food stamps? I'm a pro now. I know what I'm doing. If she has another one, I'll walk away. I'll sever everything I can. She is a strong, independent woman and takes care of her baby. Is she delusional? Yes. <laughs> delusional. Yes, Who yes. takes care of the baby? I do. I'm sure she has uh, help from the, this little baby's father, right? No. No? She doesn't know who the father is. She doesn't know who the father is? No. Or a mother who we can learn from this way. What was it like hearing your 15-year-old was pregnant? Uh, devastating. It felt like my whole life was flushed. Like she robbed me of my life. She robbed you? She robbed me because I... Didn't she rob herself? She did a little bit, but it's more me. She's only 15. She can't oh, do Oh, in it. other words, what you're saying is she had this baby, that was a little blip, and she went on with her 15-year-old life, exactly. and you're the one who had to change her life to take right. care what happens if she gets pregnant again? I can't, I won't do it. You won't do it? I won't. Take a look at this picture. I want you to tell me who this is. Take That's a look at this Desiree. picture. That's the Desiree you wanted. And that's the one you lost somewhere along the way. Yep. All right, it's time to meet her. This is what Desiree had to say, watch. Women are made to have babies. I'm reproducing. All I'm doing is my job. I don't want Casey to be an only child. I want him to have a little sister. I'm a huge Mariah Carey fan, and if I have a daughter, I'm gonna name her Mariah Janae Hope. My mom thinks I can't take care of two kids, but I'll get a job at Starbucks. That's her favorite place. I'm a mature girl, and all I wanna do is help populate the world. Here's Desiree. Desiree, come on out. Nothing's going on. You want another baby? Yep. One, one baby's not enough. Why not? Look, God put us on this world to reproduce, and that's all I'm trying to do is reproduce. God did not put us on to reproduce at 15 years old. Yes, yeah. thank you. God put us on this earth to, to grow up to be responsible people, and once we were responsible people and we could take care of ourselves, then we could take care of kids. So you just don't want Casey to be an only child, so you know. Exactly, so. only child people are like well, weird why, why and just we they're weird. Why don't we wait until we get out of school? Why don't we wait until we find a man who we can have a child with who might stick around? He doesn't need a daddy. Nobody needs a daddy. You know what the statistics are? Do the, do they, the statistics say about your young son, Casey? He's going to be one screwed up kid because he's going to have no father in his no, life. No, he no. Huh? What? 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 Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh? Why uh-uh? Because he has me. I can be his daddy and his mommy. Oh, you're about daddy no. and mommy. Why don't we know who the father is? Because I slept with more than one person at that time. <laughs> so you named your son Casey. You already got names for the next baby? Who 
you're sure is going to be a girl. Right. Now, how do you know about that? Because I already had a boy. Oh. <laughs> All right, who are you going to name your girl after? Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Well, you know, if your mom doesn't work out, you can always get Mariah Carey to help you raise that child. I've done everything I can, Maury. I have tried everything. Well, guess what? We're going to try to straighten it out. We'll be back right now. This teen's been caught with boys in her mom's shower and bed. It can be really fun to be a mommy. Oh, shut up! You don't know me! Shut up! And she might be pregnant right now. Are you hoping you are? Kinda. The results are in. Is she pregnant at 16? The teens spend one day in baby boot camp and something goes horribly wrong. Infant, infant, problem breathing. All I want to do is help populate the world. How would you feel if your 14-year-old daughter came to you out of the blue and said, Mom, I'm pregnant, I think. Everyone, this is Carol. Welcome, Carol, to the show. And, of course, that's what Carol's daughter, Taylin, did. That's what she did. Since that day, Carol claims that Taylin's determined to have a baby. In fact, she caught Taylin with a boy trying to have a baby in her house. In her shower. In her bed. So, not only is Taylor obsessed with ha about having a baby, she has also planned her dream wedding. <laughs> She's already designed a dress. She's picked out the baby name. She wants to do it all before she finishes high school. Take a look. When my daughter was 14, she came to me and said, Mom, I think I'm pregnant. Ever since then, she keeps trying to have a baby. I've wanted a baby since I was 10 years old, and I think it'd be really fun to be a mommy. I'm really good at babysitting, and I just have a really good motherly instinct. Taylor tells people that she has a husband. She's planning the wedding, and she's trying to have a baby. I've got my daughter having sex in the shower. I've caught her having sex on my bed. She's not going to stop. And it kills me because she's going to throw her life away. I don't care if my mom's upset. No one's gonna stop me from walking down the aisle in my long, beautiful white dress with pink trim. With my baby Alejandro on my arm. My baby's smart. She's beautiful. She's got such a huge future. And the, the baby in the wedding, that's not it. It's not gonna help. So, the thought of your daughter getting pregnant, what's that do to you? It kills me. She's, she's too young. She wants to be a lawyer. And she doesn't understand that having a baby, she's not going to be able to accomplish any of it. We gave Taylor a pregnancy test. We're going to have the result. <laughs> this is what Taylor had to say. Mom, get ready. Because I'm going to have a baby, I'm going to get married, and I'm going to do it right now. I can't wait to walk down the aisle with my big baby bump. I'm going to prove to you that I'm going to be a good wife and a good mother and not be lame and boring like you. Here's Taylor. Taylor, come on out. Let's get to the number one reason you want a baby. Because I've wanted one since I was young. Oh, well, that's it. People change their minds, especially when you're young. You change your mind all the time. And why do you think at 16 you you can be a great mom? Everybody I've, thinks they're a great mom. I've already had that experience. I've been raising babies since I was little. And I've been babysitting babies all the time. You see, here's a, here's a babysitter. There's a point when you babysit that you go home. And you don't have to worry about these kids. Do you know who the husband-to-be is going to be? Possibly. In fact, you have a feeling what your husband should be doing, right? For a yeah. career, right? What should he be? Pro football. A pro football player.
think you're pregnant right now? Mm, I don't know. You hope you are? Are you hoping you are? Kinda. You are. If you get pregnant right now, that guy's not going to be a pro football player. I know. Carol, breathe a sigh of relief because your daughter is not dead. We'll be right back after this. We'll be right back. This team needs to be stopped before the unthinkable happens. She's been to drug rehab three times. I know I have an addiction, and I feel having a baby would clean me up and put me on the right path. You really think a baby's gonna clean you up? It's gonna help me. The teens spend one day in baby boot camp and something goes horribly wrong. Infant, infant, problem breathing. All I want to do is help populate the world. Everyone, this is Courtney. Welcome, Courtney, to the show. Now, we're talking to mothers whose teen daughters are desperate to get pregnant and have babies. Now, backstage is Courtney's daughter, Joanna. Now, Joanna is supposed to be in the 10th grade, but she's uh, dropped out of the 7th grade this year. And, but this has, been a rough, this has been a rough ride for Joanna because she's been to drug rehab three times. And right now, she admits that she's addicted to Oxycontin. Oh. Now, as serious as that is, Courtney claims that Joanna has a plan to get clean. This is how Joanna... <laughs> Joanna feels that she can get clean if she has a baby. Wow. My brother Joanna dropped out of school. She wants to have a baby. Been addicted to drugs for a long time. She's been in and out of treatment. I know I have an addiction, and I feel having a baby would clean me up and put me on the right path. So having this baby is gonna help her get clean, and it's not. I know I can take care of a baby. I'm Native American. I get money every month. I have a lot of friends and family. I know I can do it. She sleeps in the middle of the night. When she comes back, she's been beat up before. Crying. The thought of a baby being exposed to that just, it's not fair to that baby, not fair to her. It irritates me that my mom went this far. She knows I'm grown and can take care of myself. She can take care of herself. We know she can't take care of herself because she's been to rehab three times. So obviously she can't take care of herself. Now, does she really believe in her head that a baby's going to make everything just perfect? Yeah. Yes. You know what happens during pregnancies if someone is taking drugs. That baby is going to be less than a normal child. Yes. Does she know that? I, I don't know. I don't think she's even thought about it. I think all she thinks because about... Because when she finds out she's pregnant, let's say she's three months pregnant, and she's on drugs... So that baby's been in there for three months with drugs. She's still worried about getting drugs? She still wants drugs all the time? Every day. Every day. I know she wants help to get clean. You all live on a reservation, right? Yes and no. I live right on the outskirts, but we're part of the reservation. Right. And because she's Native American, mm -hmm. she, uh, uh, she gets money. Mm -hmm. So she could be using that money. Yeah. To buy drugs. Yes. And not only that, there's a trust fund, isn't there? Huge it? trust and fund. And she gets that fund at what age? 18. 18. <laughs> and you can't do anything about it. And so when she thinks it's at 18, she's going to get that money, and that's how she thinks she can raise this child. Yep. But of course, if you're on drugs, we know what happens to the money, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, this is what Joanna had to say. Watch. Since I was 13 years old, it's always been my biggest dream to be a mom. Sooner or later, I'm going to become a mom. And my daughter's name is going to be Nevaeh Tanesh Lechne. 
and that's heaven sent angel spelt backwards. I love my mom, and I know she doesn't want me to have a baby, but I'm gonna have one. Everybody, please welcome Joanna to the show. I just, I just heard this. I, I'm fascinated. What's the name of this child you want? Nevaeh Tenes Legene. Nevaeh Tenes Legene. Legene, which mm -hmm. means? Heaven sent angel. Backwards. Yep. Since I've been 13, I want a baby. That's it. Mm -hmm. Why? I've always wanted one. You, I've... Really, you really think a baby's going to clean you up? No. I uh, know. It's going to help me. It's going to help you. I know you. it will. You can't take care of a baby. No, you can't. No, you can't. By the way, you... have you... to take care of yourself first. Here's the thing, Joanna. You've been pregnant three times. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. What happened? Um, doctor said I can't have them because I scarred the inside of my stomach. Anything you want to tell, tell me? me? You know why I think you're here? I think you're here. I think it is a cry for help, and that's why we're here. And that's what we're going to do. We'll be right back after this. We brought two special guests to help change these teens' lives. The teens spend one day in baby boot camp, and something goes horribly wrong. Infant, infant, problem breathing. the world. Why are you crying? Because uh, I never told my mom that. I never wanted to hurt her. To tell her that I could never have kids, you know, like, it's my mom. Like, I love this woman more than, more than anything in the world. Like, I don't even know. And guess what? I think all of your friends here love their mothers, too. They just can't express it the way you might be able to express it. But that's why we're here, and that's why we have our work cut out for it. And we're going to do it with the help of our good friend, author, motivational speaker, Raphael B. Johnson. Here's Raphael. Raphael. To all of you, you have a false concept thinking that a child is going to help you relieve the pain and the small, minute struggles that you're going through as teenagers. If you think it's rough now, wait till you have a child that you got to take care of. You got bills, you got insurance, medical insurance. Wait till you have to feed and clothe another human being. You have good lives right now. Take advantage of it. Rayvon. Rayvon. This is your mother. You'll never have another mother. How dare you come on national television and disrespect the woman? That's your, that's your mother. She didn't betray you by bringing you on here. She came on here and brought you on here so we can help you. And we're going to help you today. We're going to get help. How dare you use God's name in vain to justify that weak rhetorical school y'all talk about reproduction? said, obey and honor your mother so your days will be long. I don't know if anyone has ever told you, but I'm going to be the first one. And I'm going to be very honest with you. You are a horrible mother. Horrible. You ought to be thanking God that you got this woman right next to you who loves you so much that she's going to take care of you and your baby that she didn't produce and not throw you out in the street. You're going to change today. How dare you break your mother's trust and betray your mother for two minutes and two seconds of pleasure for somebody who don't even give a damn about you? <laughs> Having unprotected sex? Unprotected sex? Five times? 
And you claim that you're smart and you want to be a lawyer, and that's fine. You want to be a lawyer? Let's start with yourself. Prosecute yourself. Charge yourself with one count of being stupid, two counts of being dumb. <laughs> Find yourself guilty and send yourself to school for the rest of your life. No, it's not going to help. You know that. It's going to make matters worse. But listen, 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 listen. We just got to get you help, all right? You got all the help right here and right here, okay? A baby's not going to do it. You love your mother. And see, all of us have to hit rock bottom in our lives. Today, let me help you hit rock bottom so that you can change yourself, okay? We know. I know that uh, Joanna is a bit of a special case because she's fighting addiction. So we have something special for you, Joanna. Uh, we've enlisted the help of our special ops expert and emergency response specialist, Dave Vitale, to try to help you get on the right path. So here's Dave. Do you want to die? Do you want help? Yes. My job is to go in and find kids like you. I pull them out of crack houses. I pull them out of heroin dens. Sometimes alive, sometimes not. You're going to get the help you need today. Okay? And Raphael? What, what do you have in store for our other three young ladies? For these other three, Maury, we, we have to give them a reality check. We're going to take them to baby boot camp so that you have real live babies. Real live babies. We'll be back right after this. The team spent one day in baby boot camp and something goes horribly wrong. Infant, infant, problem breathing. All I want to do is help populate the world. Right after the show, Dave Vitale and Raphael B. Johnson took these teens to a house where other mothers volunteered to let these young girls take care of their babies. <laughs> Desiree is already a teen mom at 15, but she said on our set that she's trying to have a second child, so we're going to make her wish come true. What's the matter? You're already getting upset about she's this. Crying. As soon as Desiree started to prepare a bottle, there was a huge problem. What happened? What happened? What did you do? The bottle. It, what kind of water did you use? Desiree had mixed tonic water in the bottle with the baby's formula, which could cause toxic reactions. What does that say? Tonic water. You're gonna give this to your baby? And you claim that you're ready to have another baby? It's different. Here. No, 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 no. It's, it's not different. different. Do you actually think you're able to have a second child? This extreme close call made Desiree rethink all of her plans. You've got to stop what you're doing. Sorry. Palin said on our set that she's ready to be a teen mom because she's been babysitting all the time. Oh boy, here we go. All right. Come on, get him to see if he's still hungry. This teen got frustrated very quickly, and her baby was given back to Dave Vitale. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready to have a baby. It was at that moment that something happened that the teens will never forget. I'm out of I don't know about that. Are you serious? I'm, I'm positive. Go. Stop breathing, right? Infant, infant, problem breathing. EMTs were rushed to the scene. But none of the babies were actually in harm's way. This was all an exercise to show the teen girls just how valuable it is to know infant CPR. Hopefully, that'll make a difference in their lives. And what about Rayvon? This 15-year-old was having unprotected sex and already had two pregnancy scores. After an emotional heart-to-heart -heart with Raphael, Rayvon was starting to realize what she needed to do to change her life. For those who are struggling, going from boy to boy, trying to find love, what would you want to tell them? 
You what gotta you love yourself first. You gotta make yourself better before you can love anybody else. It's excellent, man. Come here. Oh, that's good, man. <laughs> Joanna wants to have a baby even though she has a drug problem. It's gonna help me. But Dave Vitale has a shocking way to stop her in her tracks. This child's gonna go the rest of his life like this because of his mom. All that I wanna do is help populate the world. Earlier, we met a team named Joanna who admitted that she was addicted to prescription drugs and yet she was still hell-bent on having a baby. I know I have an addiction, and I feel having a baby would clean me up and put me on the right path. Joanna, you've been pregnant three times, haven't mm -hmm. you? Do you really think a baby's going to clean you up? It's going to help me. In an effort to scare this teen straight, Dave Vitale was going to show Joanna the disturbing images of babies who were born to drug addicts. So, let's see. These helpless infants tragically came out with horrific deformities. This child was born blue. Deformed face, club foot, club hand. This child's brain is outside of his skull. This child's gonna go the rest of his life like this because of his mom. How would you feel that this child is gonna go through life deformed because of decisions that you made? I can't look at these pictures. I really, really can't. I do not want to see this happen to you. Can you change? We hope all of these teens on today's show take this opportunity to change their lives and wait until they're much older to become pregnant. Until next time, America. The incredible drama on Marvel. There'll be more truth. You cannot make this up! And more consequences. <laughs> hold up, hold up. A lie detector test will reveal the truth. Are these guests cheating on the people that love them? Siobhan walked in her house and saw her fiance David with a half naked woman. And that woman was her mother. They say I'm crazy, but I know I'm not crazy. Her fiancé and her mother claim this is all just a big misunderstanding. This is all fantasy, huh? Fantasy. Yeah, I can't believe that she would even think it. The results are in. Is Siobhan's fiancé having secret sex with her mother? The lie detector test determined. Get out! Tasha has literally brought a suitcase full of evidence. She truly believes that her husband of only two weeks is addicted to porn and has already broken his vows by cheating. The wedding was two weeks ago, but will a lie detector test end their the marriage today? <laughs> Plus, her accusations of cheating have brought this man to tears <laughs> and have brought him to his knees. <laughs> But he's about to come out with one of the most shocking confessions of the year. You're saying you don't know if it happened. You know Fine, that it's... I did. Fine, I did. Can any of these men pass a lie detector test and save their relationships? The answer is next. Get <laughs> Dutch, you come right out here. All right, I'll help you. We got evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Tasha. Welcome, Tasha, to the show. Now, here it is, 13 days ago, Tasha celebrated her 30th birthday. But, guess what? It was extra special that day because on that same day, Tasha married her boyfriend of eight years, Jason. talking 13 days ago. Wow. This is a cheating show. What is going on? 
Because instead of basking in newly wedded bliss, Tasha is boiling mad that her new husband may be cheating on her. Oh. This, is what, this is what she suspects. She suspects that Jason's been sneaking around having nooners. <laughs> while he's supposed to be on a lunch break at work. She also believes Jason is addicted to his collection of porn. Oh. Is that right? This one? Maury. What? Oh. What is this? What is this? Tell me, Maury. Give me these. Plenty of them. Yeah, okay. All I'm... the time. I got it. I got it. All right. And not only that, they're particular kind of DVDs. Oh, yeah. All what? of them are um, big boob, voluptuous women. Really? Yeah. Now, my girls look pretty good, don't get me wrong, but... What? Okay. I'm not... I'm not a big-breasted white woman. Oh, oh, white yes. women. White women. Yes. Exactly. So you think because he has pornography of white women, mm -hmm. he's messing with white women. Oh, yeah. Give me this thing about work. You got lunch at a certain time every single day. Please explain to me why you're not available at that time every single day. You're always missing. Why are you missing? So after work, he comes home and he's great with you, right? He's with what? you. Stand up, Maury. Yeah. Give it to me. It's, you're walking in. Yeah. Hey, but, Here oh, I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? He got to go take a shower. Takes a shower. He got to go take a shower. Ooh, well, okay, maybe, please explain well, that. Well, maybe <laughs> is dirty or something going on at work. Well, it's dirty, but they ain't got nothing to do with you being at home. You ain't at work no more. You greet your wife when you walk in the door. Hey, how you doing? What? Something? I can't wait to bring him out here. Honey, I can't wait to read this paperwork. Yeah, go! 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 This is what Jason said. He has an answer to everything. Watch. Me and my wife, Tasha, got married, and it was the happiest day of my life. We have an eight-year-old son together, and my family means everything to me. Tasha's convinced that I'm cheating on her, and it's driving me crazy. One time, Tasha said my private parts smell like latex. I don't wear latex anywhere. I don't know what she was smelling. I admit I like porn, but I'm not addicted to it. I watch it just like every other guy, and she gets upset for no reason. When I pass this lie detector test, I want Tasha to stop her accusations so we can get on with the rest of our lives together. Wait, wait a second. Before I bring him out here right now, latex? Yeah. What does that mean? Um, it means you smelled like a condom. A condom was on oh. your t oh. or something. We're oh. Here he is, Jason. Welcome, Jason, everybody. You wouldn't get married 13 days ago if you were cheating That's on That's the whole idea. Oh, That's whatever. What I'm He's lying. Tasha thinks noontime comes around, you're not at work, you're having a nooner. That's not true. I get 30 minutes for lunch. Oh, 30? Yeah, what can you do in 30 minutes? I go to the next... It takes three minutes. <laughs> Come on, now. It don't take 30 minutes to do but, nothing. But, nothing. But I go to the bank, cash my check, get something to eat, come back and eat. That okay. takes 30 minutes. Okay. Whatever. How come, you, for how the come bird. you take showers as soon as you get Save home? For the birds. Because who wants to hug a dirty man? Jason, you got a substantial DVD collection. Yeah, I know. She thinks she has a DVD collection. A lot of them are with white women, so therefore you. That ain't got nothing to do with color. That's then why cool. I married you then? I don't know. You tell me. We'll because find I love out today. We'll find out. If That's you right. We will. Right. Right. I got the results right here. Yeah. You what? You were asked, Jason, if when Tasha thought your private area smelled like latex, it was because you had sexual intercourse with a woman other than Tasha. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. 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 I cannot believe. I told you didn't. I'm sorry. I'm, Didn't I tell I'm you? sorry. I'm sorry. How many times I had to tell you? I had to know. What now? What you tell me what now? What you want to do? Tasha, come on out here. Oh God. We got a lot more questions to answer, Tasha. Oh.
Okay, Jason, you were asked if you are addicted to porn. You said no, the lie detector determined that's a lie. How many times do I try to have sex with you? Put the, but you, but you, 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 you get your chair. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> you were asked if during your relationship with Tasha, wow. have you ever had sexual intercourse with a woman during your lunch break at work? You said no. The lie detector determined that's a lie more than five times. <laughs> If you are more attracted to Caucasian women than you are to Tasha, you said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Wait a second. Yeah. Now we totally understand why Tasha is as angry as she's been for the simple fact that she suspected and she was right about Jason cheating. Jason, all I need to say to you. I want you out of my house. When we get back, y'all better fun. find That's another fun. way out. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing else. Tasha. Nothing else. Tasha. What? Remember, baby. It that don't you, matter. Remember, you still have kids and together. I can still so even, even pay for Wait a minute. Deuces. Wait a minute. Deuces. I'm done. Wait a second. Tasha. Wait a second. Tasha. I'm done. Tasha. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let him finish. Let Tasha. him finish. Tasha. Oh, I understand God. your anger, but remember, it's not just about the two of you. You've got to consider the children here. So even if you put him out, you still have to communicate about co-parenting. Oh, I want you to meet with my Wait, 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 wait. How did you do this? Don't be sick. That is sick in me. I know what I've done. I want to go home and I want to go home now. Well, we about to. No, we ain't going nowhere. I'm going home. I don't know where you're going, but I'm going home. I knew it. <laughs> where we going? How do I get out of here? Siobhan walked in her house and saw her fiancé, David, with a half-naked woman. And that woman was her mother. They say I'm crazy, but I know I'm not crazy. Her fiancé and her mother claim this is all just a big misunderstanding. This is all fantasy, huh? Fantasy. I can't believe that she would even think of The results are in. Is Siobhan's fiancé having secret sex with her mother? The lie detector test determined. Get out! Hold on, hold on. What will the lie detector test expose? Everyone, this is Siobhan. Welcome Siobhan to the show. Now, a month ago, Siobhan gets engaged to a man named David. There he is. Two weeks after that, Siobhan walked into her living room and found David with a naked woman. <laughs> Who was the woman? It was Siobhan's mother. <laughs> I'm telling you, you cannot make this up! However, Terry, the mom, David, the fiancé, claim it wasn't what it looked like. Watch. One week ago, I walked into the house, and my mom was sitting on the couch in her brown underwear. And they, my fiancé, David, ran into the bathroom and locked the door. So he was screaming through the door. Nothing was going on, nothing was going on, but something was going on. This isn't the only thing going on. I wake up in the middle of the night, and David will be in the living room with my mom. It's... It comes to the point where I have to barely sleep. They say I'm crazy, but I'm not. She dresses up in front of him. She bends over in front of him. They, they whisper. I, I, I know I'm not crazy. I'm tired of the lies. I'm tired of it all. Today, I want to find out the truth, and if it's going on, it's over. So, Javon's fiance, David, and Javon's mom, Terry, are here, and they swear they have an explanation, and we're going to hear from them, but first, are you certain that you saw what you saw? 
No, I'm positive, Maureen. You did? Yeah. You walked into the living room. There was your mother in a brown panties. In her brown panties, and he took off to the back. Well, they deny all this. And last night, they both took lie detector tests. We're going to have the results. First, this is what David had to say. A month ago, I asked my fiance she wanted to marry me, and I definitely wouldn't have done that if I was cheating on her with her mother. When she walked in on me and her mother in the living room, all I have to say, it, it was bad timing. Siobhan also claims that I sneak out of the bed in the middle of the night to be with her mother. What I'm doing is getting a drink of water because I'm thirsty. I'm here today to prove that I'm not cheating with Siobhan's mother. And after I prove that I'm right, I want her to apologize to me. Here's David. David, come on out. She painted a very compromising picture, David. She walks into the living room, your mother's there in brawn panties, and you're dashing for the toilet. She's the artist. She's the artist. She's the artist. She's the artist. In the picture was Oh, in her. other words, this is all fantasy, huh? Fantasy. You're crazy. I'm not I love her to this my jelly bean. I love her to death. Do you, do you, lo do you love her mother? You better hope her path. Do you love her mother? We're yeah. friends. Yeah. We're friends. Yeah. What do you do about sneaking out of bed in the middle of the night and ended up in the living room? I get thirsty, and if I happen to... Oh. If I happen to go out to get a drink of water and her mom's... I'll talk to her mother. I, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to talk to her I mother. I bet you will. Well, I guess what? There's one missing piece to this triangle, right? Here's the mom, Terry. Terry, come here. Yeah, it is unbelievable. Are you, can you imagine? You can so. you imagine your daughter accusing you of sleeping with her fiance? No. <laughs> so the incident, the incident, Terry, in the living room, that it, it, it was all circumstantial. That's my bedroom. I gave up my bedroom for them to live in. She walked in where I was. What were you and David doing? Uh, I wasn't doing I was on the couch. I was we weren't doing anything. You weren't doing anything. Why you weren't doing anything? If you weren't doing nothing. Why, why wouldn't you? Can I ask you this? I mean, even though you're sleeping in the living room, why wouldn't you cover up over your daughter's fiance? Uh, I don't get any privacy. They walk in and out when they want. I mean, I, I let them come into my home. You don't think you flirt with David? Uh, no, I do not. Are you serious? So first we're going to read about David, all right? We asked you, David, do you want to marry Siobhan? You said yes. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Test. You don't know what's wrong with the test. I don't oh, know what's wrong with you. Is no, that I, I was. I told Am you about that last night. You're kind of surprised. At that. We asked you, are you attracted to Terry? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We ask you, David, have you ever hit on Terry? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We ask 
ask you, when Siobhan came home and found her mother naked on the couch and you ran into the bathroom, did you have any type of sexual contact with Terry? You said no. The lie detector test determined. Is Siobhan's fiance having secret sex with her mother? The lie detector test determined. Get out! Tay swears she knows who the father of her baby is. It's Heather's husband. What's going to happen if he's the father? I'm done. You're done. I can't do it. He says he wants to stay with his wife no matter what. But which family will he decide to be with when the DNA results come out? Tyrone? How can she do? This is the woman I want to be with. What will the lie detector test expose? Everyone, this is Heather. Welcome, Heather, to the show. Now, we also have Heather's husband of six years, Tyrone. You see, last year, Tyrone was caught having an affair with this woman, Tay. After he got busted, Tyrone claimed that he ended the relationship. Heather found it in her heart to forgive him. But then, a few weeks ago, Heather was shocked to discover that not only did this affair never end, but that Tyrone may be the father of Tay's two-week-old son, Zamari. When I look in the mirror, I see a fat, ugly person because that's what my husband tells me I am. So that's what I think of myself. Time after time, Tyrone's cheated on me, lied to me, and he's pretty much killed everything that I feel about myself. I hate Tay because I know who she is and I know the number of people that she's slept with. It makes it that much worse. She pretended to just be a friend and now supposedly they have a baby together. The thought of my husband being with another woman disgusts me. I'm afraid today's results is gonna destroy my family. Six years of marriage? Actually, we've been together for 11. Just six has been marriage. So when did you hear about them? A little over a year ago. My daughter is the one who actually came to me <laughs> saying that she saw my husband and her <laughs> and kissing. Then you thought the affair was over until a few weeks ago. What happened? His phone fell out of his pocket and I went through it and found text messages from her saying, um, your son doesn't deserve to be treated like this. That's how I found out. It was heart-wrenching. But he denied it. Still denies it. Still. So when you found that out, what did you do? That's my family, and I'm not going to put my kids through that. So I kicked them out. You kicked them out? My kids don't deserve mm. to be put through that. What's going to happen if he's the father? I'm done. You're done. I can't do it. Well, Tay is backstage, but, you know, we're going to meet her. But I guess we ought to meet your husband first. Here's Ty... You still love him, don't you? That's, yeah, that's my family. Without the time, I don't know. Here's Tyrone. Family. You want to be with Tay? No. No. I want to be with my wife. You want to be with your wife? You think that baby's yours? No. The texts uh, indicate that you were still having an affair with her. No, no. I was. Well, well, guess what? Guess what? We wanted to clear that up. Tyrone did not want to take a lie detector test. But, but, Tay did take a lot of time. Yeah. This is what Tay had to say, what? In the beginning, I didn't know Tyrone was married, but when I found out, I'll be the first to admit, I didn't care. Heather is naive to think that our relationship ever ended. The proof is with my new baby boy, Zamar. Tyrone is my baby's father, and we had sex less than two months ago. Tay, come on out. Whoa. 
that his child? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, he was there. And, and you and me every like day. You must He's like with you every day. day. You still there. No, you nasty. You still there. You nasty. You are wrong. You are I don't give a damn about the You know I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. I said I'm not going to be with him. Tay, we asked you if you've had sex with Tyrone since he admitted to having an affair with you. You said yes. The lie detector determined you had sex with him more than five times. <laughs> what do you know about that? We were asked if you were telling the, the truth. When you say you had sex with Tyrone two months ago, you said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> Did Tyrone know about this pregnancy and that he was your baby's fa father? You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Oh, hey, man. Oh, I told you. Look, you could go back and forth on all this. Hollywood's all I care about is this baby, who the father is, and whether Tyrone will take care of him. <laughs> when it comes to two-week-old Zamari, Tyrone, you are the father. The drama continues backstage. Which family will this emotional man want to be with? You know what I'm saying? I'm guilty, dude. This is the woman I want to be with. Plus, her accusations of cheating have brought this man to tears. And have brought him to his knees. But he's about to come out with one of the most shocking confessions of the year. You're saying you don't know if it happened. You know Fine, that it's... I did. Fine, I did. Is Siobhan's fiance having secret sex with her mother? The lie detector test determined. Get out. Hold up, hold up. What will the lie detector test expose? Everyone, this is Kimber. Welcome, Kimber, to the show. I mean, we're very truthful here, and we like to give the background on our guests. Now, with Kimber, she had three failed marriages. Aww. And she had given up on love Aww. until she fell in love with her now fourth husband, Adam. Yes. But now the joy has turned to heartache because Kimber is convinced that Adam is cheating. My husband, Adam, is the love of my life. I'd really given up on love. But when I met Adam, I thought my whole world had changed. I can't stop crying because I think he's cheating on me. I really thought that I married the perfect guy. <laughs> but I'm going to leave Adam if I find out that my suspicions are true. Adam's ex told me that they had oral sex. He's told me that nothing happened. But why would she lie about that? I've been through hell in my past relationships. I can't go through this again. So, this is the good of Adam. You have three adopted children, right? Absolutely. And he adopted your children. He did. He did. I mean, it's tearing me apart because we got these three kids. It tears me up because the kids didn't have a dad. And, and if he's cheating, I don't want to be with a cheater. His ex told me that they had oral sex. And now, what about he denies his... it. Adam has explanations, and this is what he had to say before the show. Watch. I am here to prove to my wife, Kimber, that I am not cheating on her. 
And I don't know why my ex told Kimber we had oral sex. I tried to explain to Kimber that she was lying, but she didn't believe me. I just want to prove that I'm innocent so all this drama will finally end. All right, everybody. Here's Adam. Adam, come on in. You love her. <laughs> I love her to death, Maury. I'll do anything for her, Maury. Okay, have Come a on seat. Here. Have a seat. Okay. So, why would your ex tell her that you had oral sex? With I do your not ex? believe that my ex told her that. You're I full. Do. You're full of it. She did. And she offered Kimber, to come you, up. And she I do offered. Not don't believe that. Don't. You want me to call I, her now? Kimber, I am right you here right so now. Fun. Kimber, I am here to prove to you that I am not lying about that. That is why well, I'm here you for know us. What? Your ex has no I reason. I love you, and I'm here to she prove no to you that to I am not I cheating on you. I don't That's that. why I'm here for oh, you. You did cheat. No, you know I did not. And you know I'm not. All right. All right. And the websites. You know what? And the you're adult websites. You were want... ruining it. No. I... And those kids are not going to have a dad. You can keep it up. Please. Okay. Please. Let's find out right now, okay? Yeah. You were asked if you see yourself spending the rest of your life with Kimber. You said yes. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. <laughs> you were asked if during your relationship with Kimber, have you ever had oral sex with your ex? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Do this, and I know you don't want to admit it. I know you don't want to, and I know this is painful. Happen. But you gotta tell her it you love this happen. woman. I do love this woman. That's what why I'm here. That night with your ex, even though this yeah, test yeah. saying that I did, but I didn't. I want to help you get down to the truth, and I could see you want to say it. You just can't bring yourself to say the words. You're saying you don't know if it happened. You know that it's. I did. Fine, I did. And the only reason I wanted. To to keep it a secret, is I didn't want to hurt you anymore. You know, you, you know. No, give him the credit and give him you the know, credit. You just told since you the accident, I have tried to change. I've tried to put that old person aside. Hey. And I've been there. I've tried to be there for you. That's why I came here for you and for us and for the family. Duke works out of town. And I believe that he's living a double life. When you work out of town, things happen. You shouldn't stop loving me. Can this couple make it through the lie detector test? The lie detector test determined. Is Siobhan's fiance having secret sex with her mother? The lie detector test determined. Get out. What will the lie detector test expose? This is Trina. Trina sits here convinced that Duke, the man she has built her entire life around, the father of her two-year-old daughter, Kirsten, is cheating on her. Here's the situation. Duke works out of town. And while Duke claims he spends his time away from home hard at work to support his family, Trina believes Duke is working overtime meeting other women. Watch. Nothing in the world to me. And right now, it's on the verge of falling apart. I believe that my husband is cheating on me, and it destroys me every day. He goes out of town every week, and I believe that he's living a double life. I get a phone call from my husband's co-worker telling me that he had another woman in the room. When I found out, I dropped to the ground, and I started crying. I want this lie detector test just to prove that he's telling the truth, because I don't want to lose my family. Because that's the most important thing you yes. have? How about that little girl? She's everything to me. Even if he fails the test, can you work things out, do you think? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Really? Hell no. No. Well, Corey, we... I was two months pregnant. Two months pregnant. Looked through his phone, and I called the girl. She told me that he was with her. Oh. Two months pregnant. I just lost my baby three months ago. Oh. What would you do? No. 
that. We gave Duke a lie detector, but before we get the results, this is what he had to say. Trina means the world to me. I adore her. There's no other place I'd rather be than by her side. I've always wanted a family, and the thought of losing them today terrifies me. Trina, I know the lie detector test will prove my innocence, and I just hope it shows you that I do love you. Here's Duke. Duke, come on out. Duke, first of all, I want to congratulate you on being a great provider to your family and being a great father to, your, you. to your daughter. That's great. Thank you. Why would these people be telling her that you've been doing her wrong? Well, she, as she told me, these people don't like me. They talk behind my back and they don't like me. And right. um, so they will, they will tell her anything. Well, Just guess what? We're going to find out right now. <laughs> Are you in love with Trina? And you refuse to answer that question yeah. because you claim you were too angry with Trina, so therefore your true emotions no, wouldn't I, come out. I, after all this we've been through, because you're so angry. Going through, I see. All the arguing what we're going through. I got it. Doesn't I matter what the you. You shouldn't stop oh. loving me. Did you cheat on Trina with the girl who was in your hotel room? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh. I didn't sleep with that girl. Try more. We gotta get that girl back on the show. Admitted to. How many times have you cheated on Trina? You said none. The lie detector test determined that was a lie, huh? More than ten times and more than five women. I, you know what? Even if it's whatever. I told you the truth, Trina. I swear to God, I get did not sleep with that girl. You need to get out my which face. girl? And then ask me which girl I slept with. Yes, I slept with a girl in the hotel room. What do you want? We wasn't together. Yes, I have. And you but didn't you ask me. You cheated on me more than 10 times. I don't know. I ain't even seen 10. I wish I would. I ain't even seen 10. Is Siobhan's fiance having secret sex with her mother? The lie detector test determined. Well, the lie detector test exposed. One week ago, I walked into the house and my mom was sitting on the couch in her bra and underwear. And they, my fiance, David, ran into the bathroom and locked the door. So he was screaming through the door. Nothing was going on, nothing was going on, but something was going on. Are you certain that you saw what you saw? No, I'm positive, Maureen. You did? Yeah. A month ago, I asked my fiance if she wanted to marry me, and I definitely wouldn't have done that if I was cheating on her with her mother. <laughs> This is all fantasy, huh? Fantasy. You're crazy. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. What were you and David doing? Uh, when I was on the couch, I was. We weren't doing anything. We asked you, are you attracted to Terry? You said no. That was a lie. We asked you, David, have you ever hit on Terry? You said no. That was a lie. We asked you, when Siobhan came home and found her mother naked on the couch and you ran into the bathroom, did you have any type of sexual contact with Terry? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you, had any type of sexual contact with Terry? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. Cool. You're sick. You're sick. All right, here's, here's Terry's lie detector results. We asked you, Terry, are you attracted to David? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you, have you ever hit on David? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you... Do you want David to break up with Siobhan? You yes. said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> we asked you, have you had any type of se sexual contact with David? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Thank you.
said my detector man, t detector man yesterday, I said, he said, don't move, I move twice, I move my hand, I, I call. You think he fantasizes about the mother? Oh, yes. Yes, they both flirt with each other, Maury. They're both, they're both flirting. They're both flirting with yeah. each other. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. You are the father. DNA proved her husband has a newborn baby with another woman. The drama continues backstage. Which family will this emotional man want to be with? You know what I'm saying? Okay, what you do? This is the woman I want to be with. Hold up, hold up. What will the lie detector test expose? Earlier, we all met Tyrone, a man in an extremely sticky situation. Tay swore that Tyrone's the father of her baby, and that left one woman furious and in tears, his wife, Heather. What's going to happen if he's the father? I'm done. You're done. I can't do it. Tyrone, you are the father. <laughs> Backstage, Tyrone made one last attempt to save his marriage of six years. No, I'm done. And then all of his emotions came pouring out. I don't, I don't want her. I want my wife and my kids. I understand it hurts my wife, but I have 11 years. I got an anniversary coming up. Was it worth it? Now you ain't got no family. I was it worth it? You can't keep was my kids away from me. You act like a child. No. We ain't got two kids. Together. Why you worried about that? What about that? Was it worth it? I don't got nothing to do with that. I want my wife. I want my kids. My kids. Well, guess what? Now you got three. You know okay, I think, is you know I think she wants to hear? I think she wants to hear. I'm sorry. She knows I'm sorry. I'm sorry every day of the minute. Every damn day. Every time. It looks like the future of this couple is still to be determined. Keep watching future shows for updates. Until next time, America.